forward. This is the SMOFCON 32 presentation, the, the, well, the, it's happening at SMOFCON 32 presentation by, uh, by Montreal in 2017 Worldcon bid, and I turn it over. Okay, great. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Way in the back? Okay. Um, apologies, we don't have a VGA port, so we can't show the slideshow. And I know many of you know that I have been having a gout for it, which is why I'm sitting. So, if you want to see the presentation, I will be happy to play it for you later down the line. As you all know, from 2009, we have lots of tourism. Our details are in the questionnaire. Won't bore you with all that. If you want more information, I've got all of the tourism propaganda with me upstairs. So what does the 150th anniversary mean for Montreal and for Canada? That's the major question which I don't think is quite fully understood. Canadian nationalism is not like American nationalism. They don't always get out the fireworks once a year in order to celebrate. What brings Canada together is when they have a cause for celebration. I don't know how many of you were around in 1967 for the centennial. I wasn't. I was only around for 25 days that year. <laughs> so I can't speak directly to what happened, but from the stories I'm told, when the centennial anniversary came around, it lasted the whole year nationally. There were lots of local celebrations, street parties, and fireworks, because, you know, I'm all about the fireworks. Lots and lots of fireworks where two sides of both Ottawa and Hull got really, really competitive, and then they had to show up Quebec, who said that they could do better. Um, so, and they did put a lot of work into the centennial celebration. There are many, many projects, lots of, for example, all the architecture from six, Expo 67, you can see in Montreal. There are other projects na nationally that are still available to, for viewing. Flags everywhere, you know, they created a new font, the National Ballet created a new piece, and because the Cirque du Soleil was not there in 67, but they are there now, we expect that they will produce a new program for that. So what does Confederation mean in 2017? It's a Canada, it's a chance, sorry, for Canada as in 1967 to celebrate and evaluate Confederation to see who, quote unquote, because I am not Canadian, but who those guys behind me are, to, uh, to see who they are. They weren't sure that Confederation was gonna work out, but here we are, and it works. It, we mean, Canada maintains its own national identity. Sorry, Americans, I know you guys think that it's an extension of the U.S., but it's not. <laughs> it's not that either. Or France, you know, it's, 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 it's a mosaic of different cultures. It's not the great melting pot. Anticipation did really well. We accomplished the goals that we set out to do. Our complaint sessions were mostly of minor issues. We don't claim that we were perfect, but the Fanish Press gave us good reviews. We achieve our goal of bilingualism while everybody's still having a really great time. Our city lived up to expectations and it performed well. A high proportion of our upper division managers, as well as overall our committee, were Canadian. Not that we insist that anybody be Canadian in order to participate, because, hey, look at me. Um, since anticipation, these are some of the activities the sponsoring organizations have done. Aside from ongoing staff, support for various conventions, including at the Worldcon level, multiple times. Katzmoff has financially contributed to two NASFICs, almost every Worldcon since anticipation. Granted, Smofcon, two Smofcon scholarships, which are one which, of which is available to a non-Canadian, and travel grants which have reached out internationally, aside from supporting the Hugo MCP, or MPC, sorry Kevin, uh, committee. It's We've assisted Canadian conventions, financially supported the Canadian National Science Fiction Awards, provided seed money for the SF Translation Awards, given money for SMOFCON, CostumeCon, and SF Ontario, and many other projects. What does this mean for 2017? We have letters of support from the federal level down to the municipal, from the prime minister of the country, and politics aside, I really squeaked when I got that one. Um, but we also had, we also have letters of support from the Canadian Border and Security Agency and Customs Canada, which is very important for dealers trying to cross the border. But all the way down to the municipal level, including the mayor of Montreal, the, um, the vice president of the Palais, 
and also from the 375th Society, which is organizing the celebrations for not only the 150th of Confederation, but also the 375th anniversary of the city of Montreal. If, what? Sorry. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. That is the time for your presentation. Uh, we will now move on to the final presentation that I am aware of.